I'm Wani and welcome to Wani's house. Today I am um, just going to share with you, we are getting ready to go to a concert. So I'm just going to share with you how I am preparing. So we're going to prepare our meal for the concert tonight. We're going to pack my um, picnic basket. And um, then I'll show you clips of the concert. And so I'm a hot mess right now. I just arrived back from the store and I picked up um, some items for me to cook. So I was having a hard time trying to figure out what I was going to make. So what I decided to do is Mr. B wanted me to make my chicken Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. So as you see here, I have my chicken here sauteing and I just seasoned them like I normally would do my chicken breast with some salt and pepper, a little bit of seasoned salt. I have some um, dried onions in here and some onion powder. And so this is almost ready. And so I am going to actually, I'm going to just begin to like chop it up a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of grapeseed oil in here to kind of moisten it up. And then we're going to add our other ingredients, which is just some um, red onions, some regular white onions, and my bell peppers. And um, we're going to let that um, saute a little bit. And then we will, I'm just going to let it sit. And then I'm going to share with you one of my secret ingredients. I can't tell you everything, but I will show you one thing that I'm going to use. So in here, oh. Got my grapeseed oil here, and as you see, I bought this is this is the what's that? Carolini's brand. Aldi's now carries this, and it is three ninety nine. That is a really good price for grapeseed oil. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of grapeseed oil in here. And I started off cooking this, I used um, some olive oil. And so I'm just, and, I, and I've turned this down, make sure I get all the caramelization off the bottom of the pan here. You guys remember this pan? This is that rock pan that um, a vendor sent me. I think it may have been two years ago. It's still going strong. Okay, and since I'm doing this with one hand, it's not going to be perfect, but I'll come back and show you guys the final um, product. So I'm going to go ahead and add my onions, this is my white, and my red onions in here. And we're going to add the bell pepper. And Mr. B did all this chopping for me. He was my sous chef like he always is. So he chopped these up really fine and nicely for me. We're going to get all of that in here. And what I like to do is kind of spread it over it because all of the liquids from um, the bell peppers and onions goes into that. I'm going to turn it down and then that's just going to simmer. And so it's placed on the top. You can cover it up if you like. I'm not going to cover this up. Um, because I just really want it to kind of um, just really meld together. And so over here, I have, can you see this? These are my broccoli florets. And these were actually, it was a head of broccoli. And... I just um, cut it up into and went to the florets and I'm going to just and I have it here in my steamer I'm going to steam that quickly just a quick little steam because I am going to make um, a broccoli salad and in the oven I'm making I have my brownies I bought these um, Ghirardelli chocolate walnut brownies and then I added some chopped pecans on top because I didn't have any walnuts so this is our dessert so these are in the oven and so I have my hoagie buns here and 
all of my cheeses and things. So we are about we're about ready to um get everything else on. Um I need to make sure I have our plates, I have our dessert plates. Um I also have our wine glasses. I have some white sangria. I think I shared that with you guys a couple of weeks ago when I was in Aldi's. I picked that up. So that is chilling. It's in the freezer right now. So um, I'm going to watch it. And then I have my ice packs and everything is already frozen. I have ice in bottled water in the um, big freezer outside. So we'll get those. Our chairs are already in the car because we're going to the amphitheater so um we'll bring our own chairs and i think that is it everything that i have to do is almost done this is a really really quick meal so like i said we're gonna have the um chicken philly cheese steaks i'm going to make a broccoli salad mr b has some chips oh i also bought let me show you guys this I bought some crackers because I stopped by Publix and I picked up some of their um, their spicy Cajun crab dip. This stuff is like crack. It should be spicy Cajun crack dip. This is so good. So and it was only three dollars and fifty nine cents. And this is a pretty good container, Mr. B and I. It's only us two, um, so that is enough for us. So I'll have this, and um, yeah. So that's where we are right now. Go ahead and I'm going to begin to stir this in now because you see the fluids and the, the onions have begun to turn a little translucent. And so now I'll just begin to mix everything in and then I'll be back to show you the next step because it's really hard to try to do this with one hand and I'm recording on my phone. So I'm going to show, come back to you for the next step. Okay, so now as you see, our chicken and our onions and our bell peppers have, um, they're, they're like translucent and it's cooked down. I have my, um, my flame here on very low. Now I'm going to add this zesty Italian salad dressing. Now guys, this is what I do to really take this, um, these sandwiches up a notch. You may have your own way of doing, um, what is this, um, cheese sandwiches with turkey cheese sandwiches, but guys, this right here, it's the bomb, it's the bomb, okay, so shaking it up, I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit on here. Just a little bit, not a lot. We're going to stir it up. Like this. And guys, that's it. I'm going to cover this up. We're going to put this on real low. Okay. I'm going to cover it up until we're ready. And then we will begin um, assembling our sandwiches. So this right here is going to be on very, very low. So it's probably going to simmer it's 3.50, so it's almost 4 o'clock. So I will probably assemble our sandwiches about 5 o'clock because we will, you know, maybe like by 4.30 or so. So I'll just show you when I assemble the sandwiches, but just let them, um, let all the flavors meld together and just have it on very, very low. Okay, so here you see I have my broccoli florets. And they were steamed a little, but now I just want to blanch them kind of quickly because um, I want to retain the color and I want to retain some of the crispiness. So we're just going to blanch them. And I just want them to get, I want them to re retain crispiness, but I don't want them to be like overly crispy because Mr. B does not like crispy vegetables, but I don't want them soggy either. But I want them to be um, tender enough so it will retain some of the other ingredients that I'm going to put on here. Now you can really do this with 
um, raw vegetables, but I'm just doing this little bit because Mr. B does not like um, crunchy vegetables like this. So I'll be back. All right, so I took these broccoli florets, put them in the freezer for about 15 20 minutes i don't want them to get frozen i just want them to get all of the heat out of them because like i said i want this to be um, um a great temperature so that everything else that i'm going to put on here can absorb in but if it was too hot and then i put it in there and i'm running low on i'm um, short on time so i'm just going to speed up the process by just go ahead and putting this in the freezer for a bit so now we're going to add the other items to this and so what I have here is I have um, I think this is about a half a cup of marinades I'm going to add three tablespoons of um, apple cider vinegar I'm going to add some cranberries and I'm going to add some sunflower seeds and then I have my red onions here and my bacon that I just um, crisp up in the um, oven so they're they're really crispy all the fat is um, drained off and I'm going to use that for another recipe but so now we are just going to go ahead and add all of our ingredients so the first thing we're going to do is going to go ahead and add the onions to this and we're going to add some of these sunflower seeds. I'm going to, have to give it some nuttiness. Isn't that pretty? That's pretty already. And then I'm going to um, put in a couple of handfuls of these cranberries. And I'm sorry because I had not opened this, but wait a minute. Okay, so I've added the cranberries. And then lastly, we're gonna add the bacon that we fried up. Go ahead and add all of that goodness. There's some more onions on here. All right, so now we are ready to stir this up. Just wanna make sure we get some of that goodness in every bite that we get. Now, the next thing is we're going to go ahead and mix in a separate bowl this um, marinade. And then I'm going to put, like I said, three tablespoons of the vinegar in here. I'm going to put some salt and pepper as well as some sugar. So it's one cup. One tablespoon, I'm sorry. Two tablespoons. Three tablespoons. All right. Gonna go ahead and add some black pepper. And I'm gonna add some Himalayan pink sea salt. Okay, and then we're going to add the sugar. Now the sugar is what is going to bring all of those flavors together and it's going to cut that um, the acidity of the vinegar. So and you can just add your sugar to taste but for the beginning I would probably say that was about a teaspoon okay and then you're just gonna get your fork or whatever and we're gonna mix it together so I'm gonna mix it together and then we're gonna add it into our mixture here okay so here's everything mixed together I just put it in this bowl everything is going back in this bowl anyway so this is fine go ahead and taste it mm. Okay, that needs a little bit more sugar. It's a little bit too tangy. So you should taste some of the acidity, but it should not be overpowering. 
perfect very good okay so the next thing we're going to add here also because i want to kind of thin this out a little bit and i don't want to um i want to add a little bit more tangy this too is i'm going to add a little bit of yogurt so this is probably is about about one another tablespoon of yogurt and that's just regular yogurt or you can use greek yogurt and i like to substitute yogurt a lot for marinades let's see oh yeah oh yeah that's her she she's it she's it all right now i'm gonna go ahead and add this to here and mix it and then we're going to put everything back in this bowl and we're going to place it into the freezer the refrigerator so that it all can chill and melt together it just needs to be in the freezer refrigerator for about an hour and that's perfect because that's about how much time we have left Oh yeah, it's gonna be so good. And this is so easy to do. And it's great too, people. Every time I make it, um, it there's never any left. All right, so I'm gonna put this back in the bowl and then put it in the freezer. We're gonna cut up our brownies and then the last thing we have to do is to, um, Make our sandwiches and then we're out to do out the door. Okay, so now we are ready to warm up our chicken. So I'm just gonna put it in another pan. So there are some things that I want on my sandwich that Mr. B doesn't want on his. Otherwise, you can just um, make it all at once, then place all the meat on the sandwiches. So for this one, I'm taking um, a nice portion of the meat mixture with our onions and bell peppers and I'm gonna let it eat through and I have my heat here because I'm brushing now it's up high we are about to head out the door so I have my heat up high and um, I'm just going to just let my chicken warm up and then I'm going to go ahead and add my cheeses now the cheeses that I'm using is Swiss and provolone those two cheeses are amazing together and so you're just going to place the cheese on top of this chicken mixture. And then once it begins to Put milk, we will it. mix it. Okay. And then we will go ahead and place it on our buns. Mr. B has our buns over to the side. He's placed the mayonnaise and the mustard on the buns. You can also have pickles on here if you wanted to. We did not um, have any pickles, but you can have your pickles on here. And if you wanted even some jalapenos, you could put jalapenos on here, whatever you want. Now here you see the cheese is beginning to melt and I'm gonna mix it all together to make sure that it's um, melted evenly and some of the cheese is on all of that chicken. And then we'll begin to place it on into our um, buns. Now, this is what that's looking like. That is so good. And as mm -hmm. all of those juices begin to um, sink into the bun, it is delicious. Then we'll go ahead and just wrap our sandwiches in the aluminum foil and place it into our um, baskets. Okay, and then over here, here's my bag. This is our basket. You see, I am taking these plates here we got from the Dollar Tree. These are our wine glasses. We have some water in here, our crackers, Mr. B chips, some handy wipes. 
I also have my cutlery here for us. This is that sangria I was telling you guys about. I'm going to let you know what that's like. My um, broccoli salad is in there. And the last thing we have to do is add these sandwiches. And that's it. So, guys, the next place I give you a, a clip of when we're at the um, amphitheater, it is raining. So, cross your fingers. The show is rain or shine. So, hold on. Because Mr. B has to get on America. here. America. You can give me a head to touch Okay, now. yeah. He wants y'all to see him. He <laughs> wants to doing, see him. This is how we do it. Lennon, baby. Look Lennon. at him. Look at him. Yeah, y'all. Yeah. He's a mess. All right, so we are about to head out. See you guys shortly.